It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. This is the third take. My camera shut off in the middle of both of the first two takes. And the second one, I was about two minutes in, and I was like, you know, that's enough for an episode. But I just had a short episode about a week or two ago, and I wouldn't want to do that to you guys again. You mean that much to me. Now I'm sick of talking about this story, though, but it was the single most exciting thing to happen yesterday that I normally wouldn't repeat a story, but I need to tell it because, quite frankly, there wasn't a whole lot else to say yesterday that's, that bears repeating. Uh, we had pizza yesterday at work. I came into the office because they were giving us pizza, and they were having a meeting about the building that we're in because they are talking about moving us to another building, and now they're not and instead they're going to remodel the building we're in and we're going to get new carpet and flat screen monitors which is pointless because I have a laptop and don't need a monitor anyway and they're going to take all the offices out and let more natural light in the building which is great for me but the people at offices now aren't going to be very happy and they're going to spend all these millions of dollars on renovating the building and I think part of the reason that they'll do that is because our stock's like $25 a share now and you know, a year ago it was like 15, and that was good. A year before that it was like 9. So, of course, I sold all my stock when it was 12, thinking, hey, I doubled my money, but I'm doing okay at my investment stock. So I guess it's really not the worst thing in the world. The uh, pizza was uh, from Premier Pizza, which is always good stuff. And uh, they ordered exactly how much pizza they needed. I was proud of them, but I was still disappointed. Because I like it when they order too much, because then there's leftovers. So I had seven slices of pizza, and I would have had more. But after slice number four, this guy came up to me and started talking. And he and I are good friends. And, you know, he's 63, and he has the wisdom of the world. And he served in Vietnam, and he had two kids, and they both went to college, and they're both professionals now. And he's done everything right got his house on the peninsula, he's a 49er fan, I mean, he knows how to do everything, you know, so like when I'm 63, if I'm that guy, you know, things could be worse, you know, yeah, he had bypass surgery at his heart, and, you know, we smoked for 30 years, but for a 63-year-old to have accomplished everything that he's accomplished, you know, not so much monetarily, although he does own a house in San Mateo, I mean, that's a Burley game, actually, I mean, that is something. But he's, you know, he sets a good example for the youth of, of today and tomorrow. But he just really wanted to talk. And he was getting in the way of me and my pizza. And so I stood there. And I mean, it was a very useful conversation. They all are. But I only ended up with seven slices of pizza yesterday. And I should have had at least ten. Well, that's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.